Okay, so you're gonna let me play with the clapper this time? Now, how does this work? Hello, hello. Is that right? There are two terms that are used in the networking world all the time that we need to have clarified, and that is broadcast versus unicast. Now, based on previous episodes, we know that if this computer sends out a frame on the network, it goes out to the hub, and the hub then propagates it out, repeats it, to all of the different computers on the network. And that's great, but when it gets to each computer, it's up to that computer to compare the MAC address of its own NIC to itself to see whether it's for him or not. If it's for him, it gets passed up into the software. If it's not, it's just wiped out. So let's get into this in a little bit more detail. So what I want to do is I'm going to label my network card right here with its MAC address. So let me put that up nice and pretty, just like that. Don't make any jokes about my handwriting, please. So what we'll do is here's going to be an incoming frame. Now, what I want to do to make this a little bit easier to see is I'm going to replace these small blocks with a little bit bigger ones. And what I'm going to do in this case for this particular example of incoming frame, I'm actually going to label these guys. So this is the MAC address where it's going to, which is this network card, and the MAC address of the computer where it came from. So as we look at this, when your computer, when this frame drops into the computer, he takes a look and he sees that this MAC address is the same as this MAC address. Ta-da! He knows it's for him. So he'll go ahead, make all this go away, and then pass this up. Now, a few other things happen that are kind of cool. For example, it will keep this information. Your computer is going to eventually want to return data back to where it came from, so it will store this in memory in anticipation of having to resend it back. Now that is a classic unicast situation where the exact MAC address of the network card is the one it's being sent to. But there's other situations where a computer doesn't necessarily know who it's going to be sending it to. In that case, it does what's called a broadcast. A broadcast is exactly the same as a unicast in that one computer sends out a frame, it's appropriated out to everybody else, but it puts in a very different MAC address. Let me show you what I mean. So what I'm going to do, I've already got it labeled and ready to go. Here is a destination MAC address that's all Fs. Do you see that? That's a broadcast. So what happens is when this frame comes in and drops into this computer, when he sees that MAC address, he knows that this is a broadcast address. And he will go ahead and do like he always does, break everything else off and send that data up. But the important thing is, is that every computer that receives this is going to be taking that information and sending it up. Broadcasts are incredibly important on a local area network. When a computer, for example, doesn't know the MAC address of a, another computer it's trying to find, uh, so you've got a computer labeled Mike's PC or something like that in Windows, your computer will send out a broadcast on the local area network and he will say, hey, Whoever has the name of Mike's PC, send me back a frame so that I know who you are. And that way, it'll know the MAC address if a computer doesn't traditionally know. This brings up a very, very important term, and that is broadcast domain. Anytime you have a group of computers that can hear each other's broadcast, they are in a broadcast domain. So pretty much anytime you plug into a hub, all the computers on that hub are going to be a member of a single broadcast domain. Make sure you remember the MAC address for a broadcast is all Fs.